Hello everyone. I'm here with a Dollar Tree haul this morning and I want to go ahead and just get started. Make this as uh, short. It's actually Valentine's morning. Early, early for me. Late if you want to call it that. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I have several things and I'm not going to show you all the multiples, but I'm just going to show you what I got and some of it you probably already seen and that's okay um just we'll we'll try to make this quick anyway um i'm gonna start off i just because this is sitting on top i picked up this gift bag um for my son he is an avid fisherman fisherman hunter whatever he does all the sporting stuff but anyway i thought this would be a really cute future gift bag so i picked that up for him uh, let's see. I went down. I was surprised our store had, since I was there last, which has been a bit, um, their Valentine section had so many things that weren't there when I was there, and there's still so much stuff. I'm wondering, since Valentine's Day is now today, um, what they're going to do with it all. So I might check back. But anyway, I did find some more of the light pink mesh, which they had a lot of the dark, but um, so I grabbed this last one they had there because I really like the color of the light pink and you can use it for so many other things than the wreath I'm working on. And then they, I found the white in the Easter that has just the iridescent, not the pink or the red through it. So I grabbed a couple of those to put maybe on my wreath. Um, where to start. I grabbed these socks and these are just to work with. I've um, got a project I want to do with socks and make some gnomes, whatever. You've probably seen them online, but I just grabbed those to do the bases with. So I have that. And then I picked up some Easter egg little lights for my tear tray. So I'll try those. I found the little erasers, and when I've seen these online and people sharing them, I thought they were a lot bigger than they are, but they're not that big. So, um, I don't know. Um, I might try and make some little dangle, Easter dangles with them. And then I found these little pockets, which these are really cute. They're little stationary pockets, and then I actually bought them for gifting, but... They have a little pocket, I thought, um, with the stationery. The little pockets are a good size to put little bits and pieces in if you're working on a project or just want to tuck some sample stuff in your purse to match up or whatever. Anyway, so I grabbed this one, the blue and a green. And so I'll show those. I'm thinking of Easter and my littles already, so I grabbed um, these little... They're like M&M's. I'm sure they're not. No, they're not. They're just chocolates. Anyway, for my littles, for their little Easter bags when that time comes. And I also picked up this cute little chick for um, the one, one of my little, the little girl, um, little that I do little things for. So I thought this was really cute. And I love the color. This is really soft, really soft orange, sparkly. I think it's kind of cute little chick. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed her also. Her favorite, favorite is gummy bears. So this is going in her Valentine bag. And then I also picked up, and I'm not sure if I'm going to put these in Easter baskets or Valentine bags, but the unicorn cupcake lip gloss, lip smackers, and then Skittles for him. So I'll put those in one either Easter or Valentine. I'm not sure. Um, we have quite a bit of snow, so... Depending, we did go out to the Dollar Tree today though, and um, it wasn't too bad. We had to four wheel it on the side roads, but the main roads aren't are being sanded and plowed, so hopefully they keep up with that until it starts to clear. I did grab another one of the dark pink um, mash. I also picked up these stickers, and I know I think um, Dana had sent me some from Dana's Making a Mess Again. And but I just love them, and these are so cute. They have I don't know if you can see the little polka dots on some of them. I don't recall, I have to pull out the ones that she gave me, but um, these are really cute and they have the different colors. I just love these little animals, and this one has the little unicorns. So 
I got these because someday I want to do either um, a circus journal or even just a balloon animal. <laughs> I don't know. I just I just think they're so cute. So I grabbed them. And then I picked these chalkboard hearts up. And I'll show you. They're going to go on a project that I want to do. And then these are so stinking cute. And I saw these online. And they're little Easter gift bags. Treat, treat sacks. Whatever. I'm going to use them for little gift bags. But I thought they were so cute. And I'm going to actually tack them. Tack them so they hide their face until they open their package. Whatever. I thought they were really cute. So I picked up some of those. Anyway, let's, I don't know if you guys can see it, if that's too big. Anyway, I got that. I grabbed these cups, and I didn't pay attention when I bought them. They, I actually had picked them up for a friend, but they're not bake-worthy, so um, I'll find a project or just use them for gifting or wrapping or putting little goodies in or something. Um, they're just the paper cups. But they're cute. I thought if nothing else, you could wrap some yarn and make like a frosting top and put goodies inside. I don't know. I'll think of something. Share them, whatever. And then I did find these dominoes. They're the wooden flat, thin. I don't know if you can see how thin they are. Um, I want to use them in my game journal or whatever um, fun journal I decide to do. Um... And I think I'm gonna do some, make some paper clips and some tags and stuff out of them. But so I grabbed those. Um, I picked these up for somebody. They didn't have them. Um, either time I went to the Dollar Tree before when they were putting out Valentine's. So I picked these up for somebody else. And um, if they can't be used this year, maybe next year. So I grabbed those. And then I also found this cute little guy, and I had to have one. He's so cute. So I grabbed one. I'm going to try and find some in other colors. I think I'm going to put him on my tear tray. So he's, he's going to stay here with me. And then my husband, he gets so bored with me, and bless his heart for taking me. But he stands in the store and just watches me look for stuff. And once in a while, he'll help find. But he saw these and he's like, oh, I need some pencil sharpeners at work. He goes, I just want something cheap to, because they might disappear, or get lost, whatever. Get broke. Who knows? Anyways, he found these. And so this was his little purchase from the dollar store. They're little piranha pencil sharpeners. Um, the packaging came all apart. But anyway, they're pretty funny can't tell what my see the little mouth is the pencil sharpener so <laughs> anyway so I need to set that aside and give that to him that's his little purchase from the dollar store and then I found this and I actually put this um in my cart thinking of myself that might be selfish but I thought it was really cute and since I get coffee often I thought this would be cute. I might alter it and make it into something else, but it's a piggy bank. And so, or else I might uh, alter it, put a gift card in it or something for my daughter. I haven't decided, but I, it was just laying on a shelf. I didn't even see any other ones. So I grabbed that one. Then I picked up these pillows and these are the sequin pillows that change color. And I have a couple of subliminal um, projects that I want to do and I think I have somebody that can help me do that so I that's the first time I've seen these at the dollar store but I've seen the project so um, I got that one and I got this pink one and this pink one does gray but anyway for a dollar they're really cute and I hope my project turns out so I'm gonna set that aside then I grabbed this from my mom. I'm going to put it in her little Easter basket. I just put together her little Valentine's bag and I'll drop it off tomorrow, hopefully. And so this is just a little hand soap. And so I just picked that up for her or something fun. 
And then I also found these some more of these containers, and I really like these. Um, I'm gonna do some reorganizing again in on my racks, uh, things that are like pom poms that are different sizes, and then this little container I thought I could use. To, I have some little teeny tiny pom poms, so I could put those in here, and they could still all be together. But it's, they're double ended. I had bought one a long time ago and hadn't been able to find any more, but our store finally got some more. So I grabbed some more. And I also saw, um, oh, who did I see? I saw somebody online also was using these for storage. But um, I also thought they'd be good go containers. Like if you want to throw a bead project, you can put your little findings in your small container and your beads and stuff in here, throw it in your bag and... Um, I like to take little projects with me when I go places or I know I'm going to be sitting somewhere waiting. Um, so anyway, so I grabbed that. And then this is the little project that I want to do. I got this glass base. It's actually a vase. So I picked, um, I got a couple of these actually. And then I picked up this round one. I was hoping to find um, the glass ones with the lids. I don't know, like the bigger ones that had the lids like this. And they were about this size, maybe with the lids. I was hoping to find those, but I didn't. And so I want to make a couple of gumball machines. And these sit right on here. You glue the top on and put the lid on. Spray paint the bottom. And you can decorate them. I, um, I was watching a YouTube video, and I'm sorry, I apologize, I can't remember. If, if I find it, I'll try and link it if anybody's interested, or you can ask me in the comments. Um, so I'm going to try and make a couple of my own for storage containers, just decorative, to set on top of my cupboards. Um, I'm going to do some clearing and moving things, so I got those to do that. And then, last but not least, in the dollar store... I found a whole bunch of these um, cameras that everybody's altering and after and having a hard time finding. And I just realized this one, I don't know. Anyway, everybody's altering these and making shakers. And of course, you know, that's what I'm going to try and do with it. Um, so I have several and I'm sharing a few, but um, I bought like eight of them. So I have some to share, but anyways, um, so I did find them. Our store never gets all the good stuff that everybody's having fun with, but uh, today I got lucky and found this one. And so that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. And then I want to share really quick with you, um, while I'm here, because it's probably not worthy of a video of its own, but maybe so down the road, um, I finally got, I finally got my birthday present from my hubby and it came and I was so excited. Um, I've had a really hard time finding a really good glue gun that works for me. And I'm not saying that this works for everybody, but he bought me the Ryobi um, cordless glue gun and I love it. It is so lightweight. The glue gets really hot and gives me time to work with it. It's got the fine tip, um, the small hole glue, so it doesn't like, for small projects, it's great. It's got the drip tray, the rechargeable battery. It came with the charger, a battery, the glue gun, the stand. Anyways, I was so glad. I had tried to find them at Home Depot and they were out of stock online, out of stock in all the stores, couldn't find it. Couldn't get it. Didn't know when they'd have it. So I went on Amazon and I found it. It wasn't cheap. But I am getting rid of all of my other glue guns except for one larger heavy duty one that I've had forever that I've used for like big projects. But for my desk and doing small things, this is so perfect. So I am happy with that by far. I was playing with it the other night and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well, 
but I was using the glue. I need to find the glue that's really clear, I think would look better. I don't know. Maybe I just need to use different flowers. But I took some of my dried flowers and I just laid them on my mat here. Let's see if I can show you. I have one of these um, craft mats and you can like paint on it, glue on it. You can do whatever. Nothing sticks to it. I've used it for doing water blending or um, what is it called? Inks and blending for tags. And I've used it for all kinds of things. But I just put the glue right on here like I was doing a wax seal. And I first I laid the flowers down. Sorry. And I think I'm going to just put some Mod Podge or something on the back. I'm not sure. I'm just going to play around with these and see what works. Because they get really brittle from the heat. So, um, I saw actually somebody do this with ba dried baby's breath and eat some thicker flowers and stuff. And they turned out really fun for doing ephemera and whatnot. But, and then I just used my heart. I don't know if you can see. I used my heart, um, uh wax seal and put it on the glue and let it set up. I don't know my out of screen here. Let it set up. So I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, they turned out they turned out kind of cool for, you know, just playing around. So I'm gonna play around with some more. I need to find some other maybe um, store-bought dried flowers. I think the dried flowers would work better over the plastic little flowers, but I'm going to try both. I'm going to see what works, but they make really cute little ephemera. So anyway, that's what I <laughs> played. That's what I tested my glue gun on. So with that, guys, I'm going to say um, good night, good morning, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Hope you have a good day. I don't think we're supposed to get more snow today, but um, let's let's cross our fingers anyway. We have enough to enjoy for a couple days, and then I'd like to see it go away. Anyways, I'll see you all soon. Have a good weekend, or what's left of it, and a good day tomorrow, today, and I will share more with you all soon. Thank you.